Have you ever wondered what it took to put together a Trump rally? Tens of thousands of people descending on a city. It's got a big rally this weekend in Tulsa, Oklahoma. There are 19,000 seats in this rally with over a million people. And, and then you have a million people signing up. And guess what? It's going to keep happening. It's why the rally Saturday in Tulsa is going to be um, quite a spectacle. The Trump campaign manager, Brad Parscale, said yesterday they've received over one million ticket requests. One million tickets were requested. The million man Trump rally, baby, in Tulsa. We're giving hand sanitizer, we're checking temperature, we're giving people masks. They have a new, a pretty new, magnificent uh, arena, as you probably have heard. Uh, and we're getting exact numbers out, but we're either close to or over one million people wanting to go. Uh, we have a 22,000 seat arena, but I think we're going to also take the convention hall next door, and that's going to hold 40,000, so we'll have 22,000 plus 40,000. The president will not come outside as he originally planned, and that's because, as you can see, there is almost no one here. In which in August, of the year prior to the election is unheard of. We had 30, 40,000 people show up. Uh, and it seems that the uh, estimates that the campaign had originally put forward, they thought they could see uh, up to 40,000 people in this outdoor portion of the rally. Mr. Trump got very concerned early on, you know, in this cycle that so many people were waiting in such long lines. So the rallies have really evolved and now they're more like festivals yeah. outside before they open the gates. And people are in line. And if you've seen the lines, they're massive. They're miles long sometimes. Like, I think in Tulsa, they're already lined up. They've been lined up for a couple of days now. Is there any uh, secret to getting a ticket or getting a good spot in, in the venue? Well, I think the tickets, you go online to uh, DonaldTrump.com and get the tickets. And, you know, you, you go online and you print it out and you take it. Uh, to get in and to get a good seat, you need to get there early, man. It's, you know, like I said, people would show up, you know, sometimes they're there, but not there. Uh, lined up, camped out. Uh, there's a following, like I said, front row Joe's. And, you know, as soon as the rally is announced, they get in their cars, they carpool, they, they, they all show up, they share hotel rooms. It's really amazing. A really good thing they're doing now is, in addition to the 20, 25,000 people that can get inside, they're setting up jumbotrons outside. So there's the same carnival atmosphere outside that there is inside now. And, you know, sometimes the president will go outside too, and rally those people. Do you think um, if you were in this position heading into this Tulsa rally, how much of an impact would, would the COVID issue have on the planning and what we needed to do to make sure it was a safe event for those going inside? Well, I think it needs to be in the front of everybody's mind. We, we still are in a pandemic. I think the campaign's doing the right thing by providing masks and hand sanitizer and 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 all you know but the fact of the matter is there's still pandemic there i think if people practice good hygiene and wear their mask and wash keep their hands washed you know i think it'll be fine we got to get back to normal